Go ahead, hot shot. Oh, I'm back, baby. Run it. Are you serious? Oh, I'm dead serious. That's the best one yet. Look, guys, it's Jeff Cavalier, athletex.com, and he is back. So anybody that was worried out there that he was actually gone, no, Jesse's still here. And by the way, who filmed that last video? Uh, my replacement. Oh, my God. You got to keep the head in the frame. Oh, yeah, I right. know. You missed me. I'm actually glad Jesse's back. But it's actually more than just Jesse being back. Today, we're talking about Jesse's back. Right? We're talking about, from a hard gainer perspective, a skinny guy, what can you do to build your back? Because I think what happens a lot of times with skinnier guys is that they don't oftentimes focus on building their back. The first thing they do is they, they try to focus on what they see in the mirror, bigger chest, chest biceps, bigger biceps, whatever it is, yeah. and they're not really focusing on building a bigger back. But we know how important a bigger back is, especially when we talk about what Jesse was dealing with. And that was postural issues. Bad postural issues, like right? That. Really like that. And a lot of times people will develop that if you're a skinnier guy because if you're self-conscious at all and you sort of adopt this posture. Yeah, right? a lot of insecurities. Like Jesse, you can see him right here in the 3 <laughs> sets to 12 video. That's staring right into your soul. And staring into the soul. Now he's overconfident, which is why he got <laughs> thrown into the quantum realm in the first place. No, for real, it, he's actually built confidence as, as yeah. he's built the back. Mm -hmm. right, so what I want to do is go through what you do to build your back. Right. Right, specifically, what are you doing? So in a, in a particular workout, either whether you're doing a, a bro split, whether you're doing a push-pull push -pull leg, leg split, yeah. which is really more often what you're doing, yeah. what's your mindset when you do your, your back training? So my mindset is that I always have a staple exercise, and that's the deadlift. I always deadlift no matter what kind of back day I'm doing, whether it's pull or whether it's a straight back or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I find that it's great for increasing strength, um, and it's also, again, allowed me to work on my posture, and it strengthens my low back, which is really important because... Yeah, you know, he, he had a weak low back, which I think was actually some of the root of his problem, starting down low, carrying right up the kinetic chain. Yeah. So, all right, so the deadlift staple of the, of the workout. Yeah. Next thing, you got a choice. Yes, right? there's always a choice on, these, uh, on this one. I either like to do a barbell row or a seated cable row. So for a horizontal pulling movement, yeah. working more on that depth, right, the front to back thickness, yes. here is more of that row. So yeah. now the seated row. Seated row I love um, because it allows me to get into that stretch because as we have the cable down lower, yeah. it allows me to get into that stretch and I really feel it in my lats. But when I pull back, not only do I feel it in my upper back, but I feel it in my rear delts as well, which mm -hmm. I think is really important because that's a muscle that's often overlooked. Yeah. I, so. You can see with that low cable setup like Jesse referred to, it brings your arms out in front of your body, yep. separating the attachments of the lat so you get a better stretch, mm -hmm. which allows you to get a more powerful contraction on every single rep, but it's just a good way to do the seated row, yeah. okay? as opposed to just doing it at the same level of your hands. Right. Right? Get them out a little bit lower than you. If you don't do the seated row, what do you do instead? I do the barbell row. Okay. So I like the barbell row. Obviously, it's another staple kind of classic exercise for your back. Um, but I like that it reinforces the strength of the lower back because you have to sit, you mm -hmm. know, back and with a weak low back, you're not going to be able to, you know, handle that position really well while you're pulling the weight up. So I've talked about when it comes to the barbell row, how important it is actually to, is, as an exercise to learn the hinge. Yeah. Right? Because if you hinge properly, then you're going to be able to carry that barbell in the right position to bring it up towards your chest without being too far in front of you because when the barbell gets out in front of you, yeah. That's when it starts to put extra strain on your low back. But if you can learn how to hinge and sit back into that row, yeah. that's when you actually start to see those, mm -hmm. the, the, the proper mechanics pay off in terms of being right. able to do the exercise without any of the negative side effects. Correct. And again, I like to alternate when I'm doing these. Because I don't do them on the same day. I like to alternate whether it's, well, it's one or the other. Yeah, there. it's one or the other, All right. and then go back and forth. Thirdly, now you went horizontal, then you, now you're working vertical. vertical. So you have a choice there, too. Another staple exercise is the pull-up, obviously. It's always great to be pulling your own body weight up. Um, but the other choice is a lat pull down, but not just any lat pull down. It's the rocking lat pull down that you taught me a long time ago and you showed on this channel where I thought when I was doing uh, lat pull downs originally, I felt like I was pulling a lot with my forearms, a lot with my biceps, allowing my lats to really take over on that movement. I think it's made a whole bunch of difference in the size of my lats and the width of them as well as just yeah, that mind-muscle well, we connection. You have, to, you have to actually use the muscle yeah. it is that you're trying to grow. And I say that a lot of times. If you focus on initiating the move with the muscle you're trying to grow, you'll actually be surprised at how much you can make it grow. Yeah. And with Jesse, again, he mentioned sort of pulling more from here, pulling with his forearms, pulling with his biceps, not necessarily pulling with his back. Then when you do that rotational pull down here, down on one side, yeah. 
you're actually able to get the elbow not just adducted, which is one of the main functions yep. of the lats, but you can get it back behind your body into more extension, which is going to allow a lot of the people out there that can't feel this mind-muscle connection to feel a lot better. All right, so that covers the vertical, the horizontal, your main staple exercise. Yeah. This is the part where I think things start to fall off the rails for a lot of people, and it's that they don't focus on the correctives. Right. And in Jesse's case, when it was a postural imbalance that was sort of setting off the whole cascade of negative it side is, effects yeah. about his, with, the, with all of his lifting, that was a staple exercise too. Yeah. And those actually all are done in every time that you're training. Every single time I train. So the first one up is the carry. Carry. I like to grab a pair of heavy dumbbells, uh, sometimes a trap bar, sometimes kettlebells, and honestly, even plates when I'm moving them to and from the bar. Uh, I just try to get as many carries in and, you know, I take a couple laps around the gym because I know it's, you know, good for my grip, but it's also even better for my upper trap. And something you've been actually doing all the time now, almost every day. Yes. And, and honestly, I mean, definitely starting to pay off more in, I, I, I think in, so. the, in the overall, you know, thickness yeah. of your upper torso here. So carries, uh, that's upper traps. Yep. Lower yeah. traps. Lower traps is always that plate raise. I like getting it overhead and then tilting it forward, so mm -hmm. almost like peeking through the window. I think that's been great for lighting up my low traps and it's just made me a little bit more strong in you know the rest of my lifts. So lower traps, for those of you who haven't been doing enough lower trap work, crucial for establishing good posture and good biomechanics of the shoulder whenever your arm goes up overhead. Yeah. So the trap raise does that, and you can see the lower traps. Remember, they're a kite-shaped muscle, guys. So we're not just working on the top part here so with the, the carry, but you got to work on the lower part here, too. And again, the benefits that they provide in terms of the structural integrity and stability of your shoulder are so important that you can't overlook them. Yeah. So the trap raise is what Jesse uses. Then you have one last one here to focus on your low back, because again, yeah. some of your root issues were at low back weakness. Yeah. Um, this is the hyper row. This is great for my low back. has made it a lot stronger. And as you've told me before, a strong low back equals a strong upper back. Well, so the point here and why I think this is a good exercise, the low back doesn't just feed up to the thoracic spine and posture and everything else, but the back sets the stage. You even hear guys like Greg Jennings say, yeah. I put the team, team on, on my back. back. When you got a, a strong back, everything else sort of starts to fall in line. Yeah. And I think that if a hard gainer, someone who's skinny, maybe even dealing with some confidence issues, goes and they start to train their back just because they can't see it directly in the mirror. Yeah. They start to train their back, a whole cascade of good things start yeah, to happen. It's true. Right? So. And if you're ever worried about seeing what your back looks like, just take your phone out, hold it in front of the mirror, you'll be able to see it. Jesse's so experienced in shooting <laughs> selfies in the mirror. I'm, I'm I, so vain these right. days, so arrogant. That's so like arrogant. I, I'm looking for Josh Brolin to come back again and snap his ass right out of here again. <laughs> He's already annoying me. All right, look, I'm glad you're back. Thank and I'm you. glad that this video actually looks like it's filmed you know, with us in yes. it. So guys, if you're looking for programs that will help you to not just build the confidence, but to build the body, most importantly, you can head over to athlinex.com, realize that you're going to do it the right way. You're going to build not just your body, but you're going to learn how to do it with our corrective exercises worked in yeah. to make sure that nothing gets overlooked. They're all available at athlinex.com. In the meantime, if you found the video helpful, if you're glad he's back, Leave your comments and thumbs up if you like this intro. No, oh, if you love the intro. Leave your comments and thumbs up below. In the meantime, if you haven't already, click subscribe and turn your notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. All right, guys. See you soon.